Did you ever think, did you ever imagine that the Islamic State group would target your country, Sri Lanka? To be very honest, I never thought so. I am shocked and can't understand why they chose Sri Lanka for this attack. And why do you think they did select Sri Lanka for this attack? I do question if it's because they do not have the ability to go head to head with the world's powerful nations. So they chose a country that had recently established peace to make the statement that IS still exists. But there were repeated warnings in the lead up to the attacks about the possibility of uh, bombings taking place. Not acting on those warnings was a huge failure, wasn't it? It's clear that information had been received by those occupying top positions in the intelligence services. However, I was not apprised of this information. They neglected their duties, which is why I have taken action against them. These persons have been removed from their officers, and I have appointed a committee to investigate the matter. And there's been a recent very high-profile spat between you and the Prime Minister. Is that what lies uh, beneath this uh, failure of the intelligence services to adequately share information? Contrary to the rumours, the Prime Minister and I do not have such serious issues. To be clear, when it comes to action being taken with regards to matters relating to national security, political differences and issues are set aside. Uh, the tourist industry is an important part of the Sri Lankan economy. What message would you send to international tourists who are thinking twice about coming to Sri Lanka, about whether it's safe enough or not? The tourist industry has been very severely impacted. There has been a 70% decline. In order to bring tourists back, we need to eliminate terrorism. Even now, after the attacks, there are tourists. So while the country is returning to normal, tourists will come. I am taking action to ensure their safety.